CPAs can, can contribute a lot to boards, uh, generally sought out initially because of finance background and knowledge of financial reporting and audit risks and that sort of thing. Uh, but, they, but CPAs have a broader background than that and, and people discover that. Becoming a member of a board, I think in, in, the, in terms of the nonprofit world, it's giving something back to the community and uh, we get so much from the community, we know so many people, we owe them back. And that's often where the opportunities come from. Our clients may ask us to join a nonprofit board that they're involved in. So it's almost all nonprofit boards want at least one CPA, I think, for obvious reasons. It's very rewarding to be able to help at that level and to uh, give back to the community. But as a byproduct, you meet a lot of other people in the community, both business people that if you're a pub in public practice, might be potential clients, but uh, also people with completely different backgrounds. Uh, one of the things I enjoyed over the years is being exposed to social workers and psychologists and psychiatrists and medical doctors and others that I would never have had an opportunity to know as well through other means. So it's very rewarding in that regard. Before joining any board, a, a, a first question you should ask, do they have DNO insurance, which is Directors and Officers Liability Insurance, uh, because there are risks, uh, even in nonprofit organizations, uh, of if, if something goes wrong, board members can be held liable. And so you do want to make sure that you're protected in case something like that happens. But that's, those are rare occurrences, and if you're doing your job right, uh, of course anyone can be sued, but the, the risk of, of it becoming a problem is very slim. I think I've never been involved in a situation that, where we're even sued, let alone found liable for anything. Boards are um, unusual animals, and the community boards are more difficult than corporate boards, I think, in the sense that Corporate boards are very business-driven and focused on making the business successful. Community organization boards also want them to be successful, but there's more of a balance of community interests. There are a lot of stakeholders involved in a community board. So, try, so collegiality is a very important aspect of, of board service in, in both cases, but particularly sensitive, I think, in the community board situation. And, uh, and again, in community boards, you're more you have a wider diversity of background in terms of knowledge of financial affairs. So you have to be more patient sometimes in bringing people along and not assuming they know as much as you might in the corporate setting. You have to work for an organization that supports your involvement in a community organization and I've been lucky to have always been involved in, in organizations that did support it. But no doubt it does take time and I sometimes joke with my wife when I come home at night that I'm starting my second job because it's, I, I do a lot of the board work or reading materials for board meetings and evenings and weekends, not during the day of course, but most of the meetings are during the day. So you do have to have an understanding employer and that puts some strains and requires extra time uh, in, in your life, there's no doubt about that.